guys, it's Sam, and this is my spoiler-free review of Just Visiting by Dahlia Adler. This arc was given to me by the author Dahlia after she saw me gushing about wanting to read this book on Twitter after posting a Waiting on Wednesday post for my blog. This book was released on November 17th. Just Visiting is a YA contemporary about Reagan and Victoria. They both live in a small town in Kansas and both of them are about to graduate high school and want to get out of that small town for different reasons. So during their senior year of high school they travel to different colleges nearby together, they go on road trips and college tours to try to find the college they're going to go to when they graduate. This story was wonderful. It was absolutely everything that I wanted out of YA contemporary. I like YA contemporary that is able to bring up that nostalgic feeling of being 17 or 18 years old and going away to college and this did exactly that. Dahlia was really able to capture that sense of the unknown and your friendships and how they're changing as you're going away to college and how the relationships with your family is changing and why certain people want to leave their hometowns and start fresh and the value of that but also the value of maintaining some of yourself moving forward and a fresh start and all of these things that pop up around graduating high school and going away to college, all those emotions that are popping up, this captures that perfectly. Let me talk about our two main characters. First we have Reagan, and she is kind of the bitter chip on her shoulder type character. She comes from a lower income family and she lives in a trailer park and she has had a very rough past in this hometown of hers. She struggles a lot with her family and with people around her and people's perception of her and so that is why she is so eager to get away. She is very smart and she can do a lot but she feels like she's going to be trapped in this place forever. So she wants to view college as an escape and to get away from this hometown that she has. Victoria is a Mexican-American girl and she moved to the town a couple years ago and immediately befriended Reagan. Victoria comes from a very different family. She comes from a family of teachers and her mother is also deaf. So sign language is a huge part of this book, which I deeply appreciated. And Victoria has a very different mindset. She is happy with her family. She likes the town enough. She doesn't really like it a ton because people are racist and they're just kind of a small town mentality, but she enjoys her family. She doesn't have this desire to leave completely in the way that Reagan does. And she definitely wants to go to college but for the more fun stuff. She views it as an escape in the kind of fun way. And she's looking at sororities and she's looking at boys and she's looking at completely different things than what Reagan's looking at. The thing that binds them together is both their friendship and the fact that both of them are keeping a secret from one another. They've been friends for a couple of years now and they feel like they know each other very well but it's very obvious that both of them are kind of keeping something from one another and those secrets get revealed throughout the book. I want to be clear that this isn't really a miscommunication plotline because I hate those. This is more of these things just haven't really come up or they've been purposely hidden but not in a weird miscommunication way, just in a realistic this is kind of how people work way. There are things about your best friend that you just don't know and this is very realistic in that way. Throughout these college tours there is also a little bit of romance that happens. So the main romance I would say is probably one of my favorite YA contemporary romances. It is so spot on. The awkwardness and the flirty feelings and that instant connection that you have with somebody when you're having like a bit of a crush on them and you kind of can form that instant connection but also the awkward like what do we do? We don't really know each other and do they like me the way that I like them and all those kind of feelings. This was perfect. Also the main love interest is an Indian American boy which is just so wonderful because again it's just something you don't see. Dahlia is so good about putting every kind of different diversity in her book. She is very good about having LGBTQ plus characters, she's very good at having racially diverse characters, characters with disabilities, characters from different family backgrounds, etc. So this is no different from those other books that she has. There's also another side character who is Chinese American and he was adopted into a Jewish family so there's a lot of little kind of jokes about that but not in a poking fun at it way, just in a this is how life works and there's all these different kinds of people coming together on college campuses and stuff so it's such a good representation of a realistic college campus situation. This is told in dual perspective between Reagan and Victoria's point of view and I really enjoyed that because both characters are flawed but real human beings. I liked both of them. I couldn't really even pick a favorite between the two so there was never a POV where I wanted to skip through it and get to the other character again. They kind of balance each other out. They're really good best friends because they are kind of a good yin and yang between each other and they kind of balance each other's little quirks out a lot. As far as the plot, if you are a fan of road trip books this has plenty of that. Again it's more of like a short term road trip here and there and the road trips kind of change and the setting kind of changes 
but I absolutely loved that element of the book. I also really liked how everything unfolded. There were some points where I felt like the secrets were getting a little bit too drawn out because I feel like we didn't get enough time to necessarily sit with some of the things that were revealed. But at the same time, that's kind of how life is, and I thought that was fairly realistic for a friendship and that kind of communication and such. So I absolutely adored this story, as I said. I really do judge contemporaries on how they make me feel and the nostalgia element of it more so than anything else because you don't have the world building or the twists and turns that you have like fantasy or dystopian or science fiction. So the fact that I felt those same things that I felt when I was that same age. I could relate to things even though both of these characters come from very different circumstances and backgrounds than I do. I still related deeply to what they were going through and to the feelings that were popping up and everything. So I feel like this is a book that a lot of people can relate to and I loved it. I gave Just Visiting 5 out of 5 stars. So comment down below and let me know if you have read Just Visiting and what you thought of it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!